I, I teach a course that talks about different kinds of art that use life in them as, as a way of, as a media. Uh, eco arts, food art, bio art, art for non humans, and body arts. And I guess uh, for the sake of um, this conference, th there's three ways to make non human art. One is for non humans, the other is with non humans, and the third one is with non humans. Which there's two kinds of with. Uh, if you do it for non human, you give the art to a mushroom and say, I hope you like it. If you do it with them, with a dog, if you run around on, a, on paint with a dog and then run around on a canvas together, that's doing art collaboratively with a dog. If you cut the head off a dog and make monoprints of its bleeding neck, that's a different kind of work with a dog. Uh, and that's why the body arts are far superior than that type of working with, because the art can give himself consent. Uh, so that's not what I came to talk to you about. I came to talk to you about fear of, of uh, mutation, right, itself. Why are people afraid of mutation? What is mutophobia? Um, so first, I just want to establish, everybody in the room is a mutant, all right? But what I wanted to talk to you about is mutophobia, like why, why shouldn't we engineer the human genome and what people have to say. Um, before I start this, I have to say, the difference between morality and ethics to me I learned from new ways of speaking in daycare for little kids in California. Because California is like leading the world in the cancer of political correctness. And um, they no longer are allowed to say that little children are bad. Like, Johnny, you're bad. Don't, don't do that, that's bad. Because they found that they think that children take that with them forever. Like, I'm bad. I'm permanently bad. So what they've been saying now is, Johnny, that is not okay. <laughs> and that's, that's ethics instead of morality. <laughs> so here, let me take you through the festival of mutophobia, and this covers mutant phobia, human phobia, enigma phobia, pathogenophobia, and boomerangophobia. Okay. Uh, I would just say no to mutant phobia because mutant phobia is not okay. And that's because we're all mutants. Like, even though we're 99% clones of each other, everybody in this room, I don't recognize anyone as exactly the next person over. Like, you're all different. And we're so close that I know that there's some mutation in all of us. <laughs> this one is 4 million rats. <laughs> you just dump them on the camera. <laughs> um, that's a whole lot of rats. And then, in order to make this science, these are just radish seeds. Uh, and I'm, because I don't want the panel to hate you. There. <laughs> you guys need the control seeds. And so, if everyone has an effect and, and more and more radiation, we can we can check these guys out and say like that was that was before that mutagenic effect. Uh, you can probably tell that this film is showing tomorrow night and Saturday and Sunday. I want to thank the Art and Genomic Center for letting me go hog wild, we call it, in the States, with these pheasants. And you'll learn more about it if you see the film. Uh, it's called Dangerous Liaisons. But we basically, I'm just trying to let you know that I really do this stuff, and so I, I have an interface between embryos and my art, and that's why I'm really glad that boomerangophobia doesn't mean anything to me. But just in case, there is some sort of karmic effect to this. I came up with the architecture of just in case boomerangophobia. Right? Gotta cover yourself there. Um, and that's, this is the last slide, I swear. The only research that we should do if you want to have karma free research should be on humans and non human human mixes and leave the animals and the plants and the yeast alone. We can come up with some artificial yeast made of human cells to make beer with. Uh, give back two-thirds of the world to non-humans, isolate ourselves just in our cities, and give back the rest of the world, because non-humans need space, we're taking all the space. And isolate ourselves in containment cities so we don't infect the world with ourselves, especially our genetically modified cells.